<clears throat> yes! Sierra Farrell. In Dreams, the song by her, performed by her, as taught by me, Stuart. Hi, I'm Stuart. Welcome to Guitar Lessons with Stuart. I'm going to show you th uh, the cool kid way to play it, then I'm going to show you the easy way to play it. It's not easy, it's easier. Check this out. We've got a D chord over here on the guitar. This is how you do it. You know how to do a D chord. Come on, give me a break. That's like my thing, The whole every video I go like, here's a chord, you know how to do it, right? And then I usually end up telling you how to do it anyway. I feel like I should start over. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going. Uh, D chord. But you're not gonna strum the D chord right away. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get the D chord all ready to go. Then you are going to play the G string. Now that's this third thinnest string, not the bottom string. Not the second to bottom, but the third string from the bottom. You're gonna play that, like this, while you're holding the D chord. Then, you are going to take your pinky, this one, you're gonna put it on the fourth fret of that very same string, and then you're gonna play that. Uh, this D pinky nonsense, there are several songs that do this kind of thing. Um, Norwegian Wood by the Beatles does this pinky stuff. Um, there's another song that I can't remember the name of that does pinky stuff like this. Does that help? Anyway, when you first start having the D chord and then reaching up and doing all this stuff with your pinky, if you're not used to it, you're gonna go like, this is impossible. No one has this much control over their pinky. I do. Uh, third string from the bottom, the, the G string while holding the D chord. Then put your pinky on the fourth fret of the G string. Then you are going to play the B string, the second string from the bottom. Those three notes. Notice how when I play the B string, I get my pinky the heck out of there. I don't want to accidentally mute the B string with my pinky. Ooh, that was, like I, I muted a string. Oh, really should start over at this point. Not gonna do it. You're, s <sighs> okay. Okay, let's get comfortable. Let's settle in, get comfortable for In Dreams by Sierra Farrell. I had to do some uh, research to see if it was Farrell or Farrell. Farrell is what I landed on. I was hoping to find a clip of her saying her name, but I was unable to find such a thing. So I just found other After you play the third fret on the B string, like I just did, we're really only three notes in. Okay, then here's the cool kid thing you can do. Do a little on these, these high couple strings, do a little down up, just a tiny little down up. We're not making a big deal of it, so it's like, just like that. Uh, then, pinky goes back to the fourth fret on the G string, then do a little down up. Then get rid of your pinky, play the G string again. Then guess what? That's right, down up. Uh, let's take inventory, let's take stock of what we have. Um, that's pretty good, right? Um, the hardest thing about this is just navigating your pick back to the individual string after you do the down up. What I recommend to you is I recommend you play it really really slowly. Let me show you. One, two, three. That actually wasn't that slow. I meant to do it slower. One, two, three. Did it. Uh, then, pinky, once again, fourth fret on the D string this time, and then you guessed it, down up. Then finally at this point, you get to completely abandon the D chord, 
pointer finger second fret on the D string. Not the top, not the second from the top, but the third string from the top, D string. You're gonna play that note. No down ups involved here, just play the note. Then with your ring finger, reach up to the fourth fret on the same string. Play just that note, no down ups. Then I think you go back to the second fret. Let's see if that's right. I can't start over. I can't start over. I'm like five minutes in. We made it through a hunk of the song. I just got to charge ahead. Um. Okay, that's what it was. Okay, so we go. Two, four, two. We're under control. We're back on the same page. We're good. Hitch my nose. Go back to the notes. Um, then, uh, I got it. I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna start over. All right, I had a few bites of food, chilled out, talked to my lawyer for a bit, decided to proceed with the video. This is what we've done so far. D chord. <laughs> oh my God. What is happening? You do the two, four, two on the D string. You play the open D string. Couldn't be simpler. Then you play the open D string again. And then you hammer on with your middleest of fingers to the second fret of the D string. There we go. At this point, you are going to get an E minor chord going on over here, and you're gonna do our little down up. So it's down up. Then you're going to play the A string, then down up. D string, down up. A string, down up. Let's see if that all checks out. Did I go through that too quickly? Probably went through it at a reasonable speed. Two, four, two, Open, open again, hammer on to the second fret, E minor chord, down, up, A string, down, up, B string, down, up, A string. Why don't we put it all together? I can think of no good reasons. One, two, nice and slow, bad, count off, Two, three, one, two, three. Makes sense? Then, and only then, you're going to play two, four, two on the D string then something else. Do you do that twice, maybe? Yes, you do! You go two, four, two, four, second fret on the G string. Back to the fourth fret on the D string. So now we have this. Sounds very similar to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers theme song. Coincident? Which is not entirely unsimilar, dissimilar, one of those words, to the X-Files theme. That's how it goes, right? I don't think that can possibly be a coincidence. Like, golly. After you play those notes, you're going to play the second fret on the D string. I'm using my pointer finger. Then pull off to the open D. If you're not familiar with pull offs, here's what we'd like. We'd like to fret the note, second fret on the D string, as normally we would play it. And then when you pull up, you're gonna pull your finger off. I used to think you just pull your finger straight off to really get the pull-off sound, you wanna kinda, you kinda wanna kinda like, 
pluck the note as you pull your finger off. So I'm kind of coming at a little bit of an angle. I don't want to hit all the other strings, so I don't come at a crazy angle, but I try to just give it a little, a little flick. Just a, just a little flick. Now I'm hitting too many strings. I'm getting carried away with my pull off. Bing bong, bing bang, bang bang, bing bang. You see that little, that little, that little right there? I'm just the tip of my fingers kind of grabbing the string and giving it a, a little flick. Then you play the second fret on the A string. And then you play the open D string. My pull off was not great. My pull off game was off just now. Let's play the whole thing. One, two, three. And it starts over. You do the whole thing again. That is, that's the coolest part of the song, right? Am I right or am I right? I told you I'd show you an easy version. And I'm a man of my word, so I'm gonna do it. The easy version is you just play the melody without the strumming of the chords. You just go, that's not how it starts. You go. So let's just go through this quickly. The biggest difference, no strumming. And I'm not holding the D chord, not holding the E minor chord. Just going like this. Starting off, second fret on the G. Then go up to the fourth fret on the G. Then you go to the third fret on the B. Then you go back to four on the G. Back to two on the G. Back to four on the D. It's not back because we haven't played that note yet. Tricked you. Then on the D string, you play two, four, two, zero, two, two on the A string. And then two on the A string. And then on the D string, two, four, two, four, two on the G string, back to four on the D, then pull off from two, zero. I think I messed something up. Second fret on the A string, D string open. I rushed through that way too fast for anyone to follow it because I don't care about this easy version. I like the cool kid version. Don't quite know the lyrics to this one yet. I'm working on it. Um, there's more to this song though. What do you say we learn the verse? Let's do it. Two chords, the D chord and the E minor chord. Uh, what we would love to do is do this little alternating bass thing where you go open D string, strum the D chord. Open A string, strum the D chord. So it's like, the good news about this is if you mess up and hit the wrong string, it's still gonna sound fine because you're just playing a D chord. We're gonna do this, let's see, one, two, I lost track, it goes I think we do a four times, quattro, it's Spanish for four, I'm surprised you didn't know that. Then you go to E minor, and we're gonna alternate between the A string and the low E string. So it's like this. D, 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 then E minor. We're gonna stay on E minor for a very long time. So many times on the E minor. Then back to the D. But when we get to the D, we're just gonna go D, strum, and then... Right? Does that sound right? Yeah, I think... Okay, 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 okay. So when you get back to the D, you play open D, then you strum, and then you play on the G string, two, four, two, four, two, then four on the D string, then open D string. Let me play the verse for you so you can see what we do. We go... D, 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 then E minor, two, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, D. I did it! Sierra Farrell, Farrell, either one. You choose. Are you ready for us to play the chorus? Or as I call it, the chorus, because it's a C-H, O-R-U-S, C-H, makes a ch sound. So this song, like every song, has a chorus. Do you have a chorus? The chorus of the song has three chords. It has a G, an A, and a D. Now, it sounds great if you just go like this. G, A, a D, two, three, four. If you want, I'm not gonna call the police about that. I might call the police about something else, um, or you can add some more strumming. Go. Works just fine. Um, when I listen to the recording of the song, especially the really cool acoustic alternate version of the song, here's what happens: they're playing G, but they start with the, the E string. Then one strum of G, then the A string, then a strum, then it goes to an A chord, but they play the D string, then a strum, then the A string, then they go to D and they play the open D string. So again, that was G, you play E string, the top, B string, the second, A, Play the D string, third string from the top. Open A string, second string from the top. Then the D chord, you play the open D. Watch very slowly. Then I'm alternating between the D oh, and the A, but I just blew it. Let's try it one more time. One, two, here we go. Blew it after I started talking. Why do I keep playing this for you? I don't know. Those are all the parts of the song. We learned the intro. We learned the cool kids way. We played the dumb kids way. We then played the verse, kind of. I mean, I kind of did it. I, did a, I didn't really tell you what to do. I just told you to play a D and an E minor. That's all you really need, right? The intro is a cool part anyway. Then we did the chorus. We talked about the three basic chords. Then we talked about the cool bass, alternating bass line thing, which honestly, if we're being honest, uh, I think the alternating bass line thing for the chorus, a little tricky, especially if you're trying to play it fast. It's hard. I'll watch it. Can I tell you a secret? Can I tell you a secret? I was watching a video of Sierra Barrel playing this song. And I, I think when she got to the chorus, I don't know if she... I don't know if she did that cool bass thing. It didn't seem like she was. I know, I'll bet you she could, but maybe she just wasn't in the mood that day. Maybe she was like, maybe she was like not like in the mood for something different. Was there anything else you wanted me to show you?